Located between the Pacific and Indian Oceans, Australia is the world's largest island and its smallest continent. There's room to move in the land down under, and with so many sights to discover and enjoy, there's a great incentive to go on a walkabout adventure. Whether exploring the traditional lifestyle of the nation's aboriginal people, relaxing on a sun-kissed beach or reveling the night away in a city hot spot, Australia has something special to offer every visitor. With amazing national parks dotted around the country and some fantastic islands, visitors to Australia can be off exploring the delights of Tasmania one minute and Kakadu and Uluru-Kata Juda National Parks the next. On top of this, the beautiful beaches and turquoise waters that line its shores are home to the jaw-dropping Great Barrier Reef, one of the miracles of the natural world and one of Australia's most popular tourist destinations. Welcome to our channel World Travel Diary and you are watching the top 10 most beautiful tourist destinations to visit in Australia. If you like this type of videos, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Let's get started. Number 10, Canberra. Having started life as a planned city back in 1913, Australia's capital Canberra is slowly but surely growing into a lively and lovely place. Once the home solely of politicians and civil servants, the now thriving metropolis is home to world-class museums, art galleries, and national monuments. All kinds of shops, restaurants, and bars abound, and its large student body means there's a pounding nightlife scene. Despite its youth, the city has lots of interesting historical sites, many of these relate to its parliament and governmental institutions. Due to its remote and rural setting, the city is also a fantastic place for exploring the great outdoors. Its nearby nature reserves are wonderful to hike and cycle around, as are Canberra's numerous parks, gardens, and human-made lakes. Number 9, Gold Coast. Blessed with year-round warm weather and sunny skies, Australia's glimmering Gold Coast lies just to the south of Brisbane on Queensland's southeastern coastline. The coastal city is one of the most popular holiday destinations in the country thanks to its lively yet laid-back vibe and alluring sun, sea, and surf. Surfer's Paradise is the area most people flock to. The capital of the Gold Coast is home to large shopping malls and pounding nightclubs as well as countless restaurants, bars, and accommodation options. Glittering high-rises tower above its expansive beach, which is great for sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. While it is often called a tacky tourist trap, the Gold Coast has loads going for it, with beautiful beaches and stunning sunsets a given. In addition, it also boasts exhilarating amusement parks, water parks, and nature reserves, while its surf breaks are out of this world. Number 8, Darwin. Hugging the coastline of Australia's top end, the region encompassing the Northern Territory, Darwin has long been the most international of the country's major cities. Its close proximity to other countries in the Indian Ocean has made the city a transportation hub since its earliest days. Devastated during World War II and again in 1974 when struck by Cyclone Tracy, Darwin is a resilient town with a spirit that can't be defeated. Today, the city of around 75,000 people is a popular holiday destination. Darwin's main natural attraction is its white sandy beach lined with open-air beer bars, seafood restaurants, and multinational shops. Twice the size of Sydney Harbour, Darwin Harbour attracts visitors too. Darwin is also the hub for tours to Kakadu National Park as well as Litchfield National Park and Catherine Gorge. Whether watching crocodiles cavort in Crocodilus Park, cruising to the Aboriginal-owned Tiwi Islands or relaxing on the beach, there's always something new to experience in tropical Darwin. Number 7, Byron Bay. The easternmost point of Australia's mainland, Byron Bay lies in the state of New South Wales, just off the Pacific Highway that connects Brisbane to Sydney. Famed for its idyllic beaches, fantastic surf spots, and lovely laid-back lifestyle, 
the beautiful beachside town is one of the nation's most popular tourist destinations. While the town itself hosts a number of arts and culture festivals throughout the year, as well as weekly farmers markets, most people visit for its scenic setting and wealth of outdoor activities. Besides lounging on any one of its wonderful beaches, visitors can enjoy scuba diving, surfing, and whale watching offshore, with skydiving and yoga also popular. Number 6. Cairns. For its tropical climate, easygoing ambience and close proximity to the Great Barrier Reef, Cairns is one of Australia's most popular vacation destinations. Located on the northwest corner of Australia, Cairns is a provincial but stylish city with a population of around 150,000 people. The city is bordered by mountains and the Coral Sea and is surrounded by sugar cane plantations and rainforest. There are enough good bars, restaurants and shopping options to keep visitors entertained before they head off into the stunning nature nearby. Instead of a beach, Cairns features a saltwater lagoon in the center of the city. The Cairns Esplanade along the shore is lined with trendy cafes, bars and boutiques. Numerous beaches are located just to the north of the city and are easily accessible by bus or car. The City Botanic Gardens features plants used by Aboriginal people. Opposite the gardens, a boardwalk leads visitors through the rainforest to the Centenary Lakes, a habitat for crocodiles. Number 5. Adelaide. Situated on the eastern shores of Gulf St. Vincent, Adelaide is the capital of South Australia. Adelaide is Australia's fifth largest city, with a population of over 1.2 million. More than three quarters of South Australians live in the Adelaide metropolitan area. The city is located on a plain between the rolling Adelaide Hills and the Gulf and is bordered by many of Australia's famous wine regions. The Barossa Valley and Clare Valley regions lie to the north the McLaren Vale and Langhorn Creek regions to the south and the cooler Adelaide Hills region to the east. Nicknamed the City of Churches, the lofty spires dotted about here and there add to the picturesque nature of Adelaide and there are lots of nice parks and green spaces for locals and visitors alike to enjoy. Number 4. Perth. The capital of Western Australia, Perth is very isolated from the rest of the country yet is routinely considered one of the most livable cities in the world thanks to its laid-back vibe, fantastic cultural sites, and a wide range of things to do. Many of Perth's attractions are located near the water, whether it's the beaches stretching along the Sunset Coast to the north or the parks, walks and picnic spots edging the Swan River. Fremantle, known as Frio by the locals, is the city's port, a bustling marina that has recently gained a reputation as a haven for artists and students. Cotslow Beach, just a few miles north of Fremantle, is Perth's most popular beach. One of the largest city parks in the world, the Thousand Acre Kings Park encompasses Mount Eliza, a hill overlooking the city, and boasts a botanical garden with aerial walkways as well as the State War Memorial Park. The Perth Zoo offers visitors up-close encounters with kangaroos and other animals native to Australia. Ferry service in Perth takes visitors to Carfree Rottnest Island or the closer Penguin Island to watch daily feedings of the flightless birds. Whether swimming with dolphins, firing up a barbie on the river's shoreline or exploring the Aquarium of Western Australia, the country's largest aquarium, aquatic adventures abound in sun and sea-loving Perth. Number 3. Kangaroo Island. The third largest island in the country, Kangaroo Island lies just off the coast of South Australia, around a 45-minute ferry ride from Cape Jarvis. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the state, its delightfully untouched landscapes are home to incredible scenery and an abundance of wildlife everything from huge dunes and towering cliffs to large caves and remarkable rock formations can be found in its numerous nature reserves. These are home to echidnas, koalas, and kangaroos, while penguins, sea lions and dolphins can be spotted offshore. Its diverse landscapes lend themselves perfectly to all kinds of outdoor activities, 
with hiking, sandboarding and scuba diving popular. Besides its ample natural riches, wildlife, and recreation opportunities, Kangaroo Island also boasts lots of delicious local produce and fine wines for visitors to try. These can be sampled at any one of its four main towns or at the small farms and wineries that dot the island. Number 2. Brisbane. A popular tourist destination, Brisbane is a lively, dynamic place that is bathed in beautiful sunshine year-round. It has a population of about 2 million people, making it the third largest city in Australia, after Sydney and Melbourne. Located in the Sunshine State, many visitors stop by on their way to the fantastic resorts and beaches that lie to its north and south. Set alongside the Brisbane River, the city's fantastic climate means that outdoor activities are very popular here, you can take your pick from a huge catalogue, with biking, climbing, and hiking featuring prominently. A fun and friendly city, Brisbane's vibrant music scene has made it one of the music capitals of the world and there are lots of venues in town where you can enjoy a great show. With loads of brilliant restaurants and bars for you to choose from, Brisbane is not to be missed. Number 1. Melbourne. The capital of the state of Victoria, Melbourne is Australia's second most populated city. Located near the southeastern tip of Australia on the large natural bay of Port Phillip, Melbourne is considered the nation's cultural capital as well as an important port. Due to its high quality of life, citizens from around the world have flocked to the streets. Its multicultural population is reflected in the delicious cuisine and the unique neighborhoods that make it such a fascinating place to explore. Melbourne's city centre district boasts the most attractions, including the city's most recognisable landmark, the Flinders Street Railway Station. The multiple clocks hanging over the Edwardian era station's entrance is a popular meeting spot. The skyscraper Eureka Tower features an 88th floor observation platform, the highest in the Southern Hemisphere. Visitors can step out onto a glass-enclosed compartment for panoramic views of the bay and the green Dandenong mountain range beyond. Visitors looking for outdoor activities can enjoy the city's parklands, many of which are shaded by large, mature trees. For swimming and sunbathing, Melbourne's bayside beaches are ideal. For a retro feel, Brighton Beach features colorful bathing huts. St Kilda Beach is one of the most popular beaches, both for its swimming and for the clubs and restaurants that line the shore. From dawn to dusk, visitors to Melbourne will never run out of exciting things to see and do. These are the top 10 most beautiful tourist destinations to visit in Australia. If you get some knowledge from watching this video, be sure to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.